Thank you, please sit down. Colleagues, officials, partners, friends, our construction team, partisans. I know I will get a clap for that one. <laughs> On behalf of the government, I want to thank the friendly government and people of the People's Republic of China for this great contribution to our development efforts. Mr. Ambassador, we have no doubt that China is a reliable friend, that China continues to be a major partner in our development effort. This project is something we've long waited for because of how will it enable our young people to empower themselves, to take charge of their lives, to make a major contribution to the development of their country. As you said about the Chinese proverb, we know that in this project, you now enable them to be able to fish for themselves. <laughs> to be able to carry on with their own development plans. We look forward to the training of thousands of young Liberians at these facilities and the skills that they will acquire will make a big difference in the future, whether we are able to maintain the development pace that we have started upon, to maintain our commitment and the results of our work. It's been a long time coming and we all have been so anxious but we know that China was committed to completing this project and we also look forward to the others while recognizing the many others that they have done. The Jackson F. Doe Hospital, the University of Liberia campus, the Bamboo Weaving Project, the Confucius Institute at the University of Liberia, the Cary Agricultural Laboratory, among others. As I said, we still await the other important ones, the Samuel Doe Sports Center, which is on the way, the long, long-waited ministerial complex, fading into memory, the wings to the home of our legislators. But we are confident, we are confident that it's coming. And we are confident that that too will make a major contribution to us. To our construction team, Chinese and Liberians, take a bow. Maybe they didn't hear me. I'm talking to you. 
I'm talking to you to congratulate you, to commend you for the skills you have demonstrated in finishing this and for the collaboration that you did working together with the friends and your colleagues from China uh, to be able to produce this. Mr. Ambassador, please convey to the President, the government and people of China our appreciation, our sincere thanks for this contribution and what it will mean as we move ahead in our development. To ourselves, even though we've heard about the continuation of some support, but as of today, these facilities are now turned over to us. They become our prime responsibility. No matter how supportive China will be for its operation and its maintenance, the primary responsibility will rest with Liberians. And the protection, too often, we've seen nice projects concluded only because of poor maintenance or because of wanton destruction we see them unable to carry out the functions and the services for which it was intended. Let us please, please, not let this happen to this well-constructed facility, to this very important contribution to us. So the administration, the executive, supported by the legislature, many of whom are here, and I want to you know, recognize their presence and thank them for being a part of this, because it's also their responsibility. And so together, we must ensure that we enable these facilities to perform the purpose for which they were constructed. Thank all of you for being a part of this. And thank you, Ambassador, your team, the construction team, the team at your embassy, and all of those who have stuck with us, who have been patient with our impatience in trying to get uh, this done. Thank you to our ambassadors for coming and joining us in this effort, which represents really a totality of partnership and cooperation, because all of them have made contribution to our work and to our effort. And every time one partner enables us to have an addition to what we are doing, it makes the effectiveness and the results of the other partners very solid, because we are able in complementarity and comprehensiveness of our effort we can move the country at a much faster pace and obtain much better results. Thank you all for being a part of this.